welcome back to another TS Terra Plays Terra video. Alright, so in today's video, quite a few people have been asking me to do a general basic Menmas or any PC Terra toolbox. Kind of walkthrough for newer players or even players maybe coming from console who don't have as much experience with toolbox. Now, before I fully dive into this guide, I will say they, there are discords out there that cover a lot more about Toolbox than probably I can myself, as well as I will highly, highly recommend whatever fan server you are playing on, 100% join their discord and look through what mods you can and cannot have because Menma's list of what was allowed might be slightly different than Starscape along with what Terra X had. Everyone has their own list of what they consider okay and not okay. For the most part, any costume or cosmetic changes no one cares about. It's things like scripts, Fast Valk, Fast Sork, Fast Warrior, all of those like considered cheater mods uh auto lock on stuff that makes the game way easier is not allowed 90 percent of the time but there may be fan servers also that i don't know about there that might not care that people just don't care so it's very important to join your fan service discord and kind of go over and read through and always ask questions people in the community are usually super super nice about stuff like this so the first thing you want to do is you want to have a terra folder and you want to have if you have multiple fan servers like i used to have valky tech i need to delete this but i've just been too lazy and then inside menmas is you know the version we're covering and you'll see that inside this folder i not only have the actual game folder and i have the terra toolbox master it's very important that these are in the same shared folder. If you have this somewhere else, you may cause issues with the game. So it's very important to make sure it's in roughly the same folder. You can even see when I used to run Valky Tech, I had my toolboxes right there as well. So it's very important. And even if you want to use Terra Toolbox Master for all of them, you may want to keep all your Terra games in the same folder then. So, and as you can see, this is all the Menma stuff. And when you want to launch the game, make sure that you launch it as administrator. And you're gonna see I'm gonna do that for the toolbox the same way. Instead of just double clicking Terra Toolbox or in, you know, back clicking the game, you wanna right click and run as administrator. This Terra Toolbox.exe will pop up. I don't know if OBS captured it. If not, definitely hit run. And basically then you're gonna have toolbox up and running. Now you can come here and you can see all the mods. You may want to install things. You may want to uninstall things. So like I have the DPS meter, I have NGSP fix, I have NGSP by Kygis and Pow. And you might not want this NGSP, you might want a different one, you might want to run burn, you might want to run whatever, you can install whatever you want. Again, be cautious that what you install on the server you're playing is allowed. You can even come here to get more mods. So I have a translation chat mod, it took me forever to get this, but it's super useful, especially as being, you know, an American who's playing on it european servers not everyone wants to speak english and i don't i get that it's fair you know but at least i can communicate through the game and it translates and what you can do is you can come here and you can search things if you know what your mod is that you want you can search it and then let's say you want it auto loot you come here you hit download mod and now it'll put it in your folder with all your mods so, and it's important that you make sure all the stuff you have currently works with your setup. And then you're good to go. You want to come back to logs. You can see it's not running. 
what you want to do is hit start and then it's gonna start the first time you run it it is gonna take quite a while because as you can see for me right now it's saying auto update started it is trying to update any mods in the folder if the developers of those mods change something it will go out and get them itself and now you can see that all of this is done it's running if you hit stop it would stop and now you are good to launch the game so once you launch the game you'll see that the game's going to shut down or like close out you'll see that now the game is loading and toolbox is also loading and now you can see shinner meter is popping up for me there is sometimes issues where you may have to rerun shinner meter you may have to close it and restart it and i've noticed with having the toolbox in the same folder as the game it really really helps out a lot so that is the basics of toolbox again you can go out and download your own mods i know the toolbox i originally had did not have kygus's ngsp but i was able to copy and paste it from the one folder from the you know terra x folders into it because i actually fairly enjoy his ngsp that he worked on over others and i haven't experienced with too many others i haven't experienced with burn you know burn scripts or any of that but you know if you want something you can get it again just make sure it is going to be protected make sure you're not getting something that you're going to get banned for there's no reason for you know nonsense like that but ideally that's how it all works and again if you want to see the inside the folder you can see in here you can see all the mods that i have if there's something you want like i said when i put the next generation skill prediction all i did was copy it from the one paste it into this one and now it's added you can do that with any of the mods as well and if that's in case you search a mod and it's not actually already in the toolbox you can add it yourself that's basically it now if i was to launch the game i would have toolbox running and there's all sorts of stuff to make sure your ngsp is working i'll even actually pull that up so one way you can check to make sure your toolbox is working is do you have the toolbox chat now some toolboxes will allow you to type in i think it's like dash eight or it's like there's a little squiggly eight if i recall Just trying to find it on my keyboard because i never really use it i think it's this will bring it up nope dash eight space Dash 8 space brings it up for me. The other thing is, if you keep scrolling through, you can pull it up. And then you have to know what your mods need. So I know if I do NGSP UI, then that pulls up my NGSP. And I can see my pin, I can see my jitter, all this stuff. I can go through the settings and change whatever I want. I can go through the actions, all of that. Again, you have to know what your mods require you to use. And this is why I say it's really good to join the discords and talk to people in the community because I am still learning all of them. I do not know all of them. I will probably not learn all of the different NGSPs, the UIs, how they all work. Someone in the discords will know or have a link to probably give you further advice especially they may have inputs on what are better mods you should run and personally even on this video there may be people from menmas that might be like hey run this ngsp and in that case i will consider it and i'll try it out because i love trying out new things and seeing maybe it works better for me maybe it doesn't personally this one i've enjoyed a lot since i've used it so that's about it for this video i hope this clears up any questions people have been having with the tarot toolbox again if you have any questions about how to get it that's where i will also highly highly recommend joining 
any Discord. I don't remember the GitHub links off the top of my head, and I'm not going to link them because I'm iffy with GitHub. You get it from some link on GitHub. I'm sure people in the Discord have it linked and you can get the latest version as well as that's how you run it. Again, make sure you run the game and toolbox as administrator. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will bring them to a community that will probably be able to give me a better answer to give y'all. Within that, if you like this video, if this has been helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more terror content in the future, feel free to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. That's about it. Hope you have a fantastic day or night. And as always, I hope to see you in Aboria, gamers.